Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 17. This is Melissa's first directorial episode. So, this episode was really good. It might be one of my favourites of the season, I think just after the 100th episode. I'll talk about why later in the video, but I really, really like this episode. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. I apologise for this video being up a day later, I just couldn't get it out yesterday, but I should have my trailer breakdown out later today as well for the next episode. Anyway, so this is us nearing towards the end of the season, we've got two more episodes, we've got 18 and 19, 19's the finale, they shot 20, but they're merging it into one. We don't have that many episodes left, and I thought this was a pretty good way to sort of wrap up a lot of the stuff and a lot of the sort of cliffhangers we've had throughout the season. So I thought Melissa especially did a really good job directing, I will continue to say that because I felt like there was a lot of control, and I actually felt like that for some reason the writing and the performances were better. I don't know if that's because they knew that Melissa was making this episode, but somehow, it was just better. So the episode starts where it ends and Lex kills the Leviathan lady who we keep on seeing since the end of last season. And so everyone including Kara sees Lex as a hero, Kara and John sort of question it at the start. And then we go towards the end of the episode and we sort of get to see more of this. But anyway, so it seems like they're going to be teaming up and working against Leviathan. But what they don't know is Lex is actually behind all of this. Anyway, so he sort of saves these VR stuck people. And then right after this we go back to the day after Crisis and this is one day after. So we get to see him and his butler, I guess it's a reference to Alfred from Batman who we always see. So he's in this new world and he opens the curtains, he sees the city and basically what happens from here on is he realises he is this new powerful being that, you know, he doesn't have to worry about being a villain, going to prison or anything like that because people perceive him differently in this version of reality post-crisis because he's changed everything. And so he realises he saved the world and at this point his butler shows him, oh, you're going to get the Nobel Peace Prize as well. So, you know, that's a new thing. And then we move on, we get Lex and Lillian who are working together, supposedly this whole time, it seems like they're trying to infer. So the Luthers now have respect, and those two are working together, including Lena, so the whole family is back together once again. And then, additionally, he finds out who's working with Leviathan through the Legion ship, and then we see Eve fighting a guy in the toilet, and it turns out, obviously, Eve in this reality doesn't actually know much about Lex and she is basically recruited by Lex in this episode you know back in the past and then we keep on time jumping until we get to towards the present day where we started the episode and where we end it as well and so Lex it's revealed you know he's going after Leviathan and Eve is working with Lex and he basically makes some false promises about how he is going to protect her family essentially. So now Eve's working with Lex throughout this episode and throughout the many months that they've been working together and at one point Lex gives Eve some poison and this is for her dad who was murdered. It's supposedly for the killer who killed Eve's father but instead Lex switched the person and it's actually not her dad's killer but instead it's Jeremiah, Supergirl and Alex Danvers's father so that is the big reveal that was a massive reveal that was like oh that's smart because I did not expect that I thought that he just died randomly they brought it up in a couple of episodes ago but it seems like they had this planned all along that Lex would be in control of everything and he would be the cause of all of these problems from what we've been seeing recently so going back to praising how good Melissa did in this episode you know she's not in this episode that much but she directed it and like I said, I think this episode is one of the best directed episodes of the season. And it's not just because it's Melissa. I don't know, it just feels more filmic. It feels more controlled, essentially. And there's some great music choices in this episode where you get this montage as Lex goes around the world. Yeah, the CGI, the green screen isn't the best, but you can forgive that because it's a great little montage where, you know, he travels around the world, you have this music. And it basically works very well as like a piece of, you know, film moving forward in time. But anyway, then we go on and after this montage, Lex realises that Lena is going to talk to Kara 
and he spies on her and Lena apologizes to Kara about what she's done and she's you know very sorry about her father essentially and that is something that Lex didn't predict would happen so he's a bit annoyed but then he gets a new plan and everything is back to normal with Lena finding out that Kara is using Myriad she doesn't trust her again because you know Kara told her off for using Myriad but Kara was doing it for a good purpose where Lena wasn't and this is all due to Lex and his son Eater plan to get Lena to come back to his side essentially and not side with Supergirl once more and so there's some talk about activating William and basically he just gives him some information he being Lex and so Lex gives clues about William and about Leviathan's patients that they've been holding in that facility all this time and so Lex shows Gemma via Eve who is spying on them through like this sort of uh, camera and then also they can hear into it so some sort of I guess like advanced technology to do with obsidian is what is used and so Gemma sees that they're on to Leviathan and so her real name is like Gamine but they call her Gemma you know like her human name and so it's revealed that they cause the Black Plague they cause Pompeii and then now this so it's a lot more to do with Gemma in this episode and I'm very very happy with what they did because now I sort of understand her as more of a threat especially towards the end of the episode because before she's just been like this kind of spokesperson for Leviathan, we've not really seen that much from her apart from being around being like, yeah, you can do this, yeah, you can't do that, blah, 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 and that's about it. But then we go, and as this sun Issa is basically trying to suck in and destroy the sun, the gun just shows up out of nowhere. She just literally flies into the fortress. Somehow she knows where the fortress is. I guess she can detect where Jean is. But she just drops in, she returns, it's exciting, she has this really great moment where Jean and Magan are in space. Brilliant VFX, I think some of the best VFX we've had this season, if not the best CGI we've had in ages. And so the lighting is amazing, you have all this sunlight radiating onto them, and they look really, really good as they fly into space to try and stop the Sun Eater. So that was a great moment, but it's kind of just a bit strange how she returned out of nowhere, but I guess it was cool. And so the Sun Eater is taken over and Supergirl is able to save them and she's in this Lexo suit, she's in space and she's able to stop the Sun Eater and at this point we got a cameo where we go to different points in the Earth, people using the VR to escape the harsh reality of the Sun Eater potentially destroying the Sun and probably destroying the Earth as well. And at this point you get a cameo from Jason Mewes aka Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. He is Kevin Smith's best friend and he's Melissa's really good friend so that put a smile on my face I really enjoyed that and you know it's just completely random he was just like a really small like farmer character who just popped up for one scene but it was great to see him included in a Supergirl episode finally because he was in a Flash episode which Kevin Smith directed like a couple of years ago but it's nice to see him actually in Supergirl because he's friends with Melissa so this makes total sense with her directing and him actually being in this episode as a little cameo and so then after that we go back to the present and we see Lex, Kara and Jean they're at this point where we started and so at this point Gemma is exposed or Gamine as she is referred to in this episode so her full-on Leviathan look you know she's a sentient being essentially she is some sort of alien I forgot what the actual explanation for all of that was in the past but she looks amazing it's really really cool and I think the look is very distinct, it looks very evil, and she has these lightning powers, and I'm just excited to see more of that because, you know, I think she's been very bland so far, and this is the most exciting thing we've had from her, so, you know, this was a great sort of reveal of powers because it was out of nowhere, and she grabs Lex via her lightning. And so Lex finally gets around to her once again, and... Basically, she goes off and they plan to kill Supergirl. This is how the episode ends. And so Gemma says, we will not fail. Essentially, she's going after Supergirl next episode is what I got the gist from. And I believe the synopsis for the next episode hinted this as well, that Supergirl would be facing off against Leviathan. And I think she's going to team up with Rama Khan. I don't think Rama Khan's that interesting, but I'm interested in Gemma as of right now. So Gemma will not fail and she will try and kill Supergirl so we'll have to wait and see what happens with that and then towards the end, right at the end, Eve basically gets the whole truth laid out to her about Lex so Lex reveals that 
he will not be with her and he wants to be away from her because you know she's a distraction he just wants her to work for him because she's very smart and everything like that so you know essentially she doesn't get what she wants she realizes that lex is worse than leviathan and as you can tell from all of this he is essentially the main villain because he's controlling everything yes he's trying to get rid of leviathan but he's probably doing it for his own means well he definitely is doing it for his own means so it's revealed that you know Eve killed the wrong person, killed Supergirl's dad. I'm guessing she's probably going to reveal that to Supergirl at some point and blame it on Lex, and that's when everyone's going to turn against Lex, whether it's the end of this season or next. We'll have to wait and see. But I think that's something that Eve is going to use against Lex to stop Lex via use of Team Supergirl and co. And then, right at the end of the episode, I Did It My Way by Frank Sinatra comes on and Lex literally says it and this is really a Melissa thing because I know she's a big musical fan and this moment really worked. And so basically he opens this portal and he goes through into the fortress and that is how the episode ends. So yeah, that's about it for this video guys. This was a really good episode, one of the best episodes of the season. Yeah, there wasn't that much Supergirl. But Lex was so good and everything else surrounding it just made total sense and it all tied up really well. And it was very, very good. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.